Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create animated PowerPoint diagrams using logos in Office 365. The beautiful animated PowerPoint diagram you will learn to create today looks like this. This is nothing but a simple logo of a bulb. A bulb is a metaphor for ideas. If I want to communicate the concept that there are three components to this idea, then I can show that using a very simple animation like this. Here we talk about the first part of the idea, then the second part of the idea, and the third part of the idea. And all we did was to use the basic logo that comes with Office 365, and we have broken that down and created this diagram. I'll show you how easily you can do this in Office 365 from scratch. The first step is to go to the Insert tab in PowerPoint Ribbon and then go for the Icons option under Illustrations group and then look for an icon that looks like a bulb. Now when we go down, we can find under Analytics the option called Bulb. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to insert. This is an SVG file and therefore PowerPoint allows you to work with the SVG files quite easily. Even if you are someone who doesn't have Office 365 subscription, you can always find .svg files quite readily on the internet. Find some of the public domain icons like the one that you see here that are in .svg format and you can work with those icons quite easily like the way that I am working with the icons that are provided in PowerPoint Office 365 version. Now let us increase the size of this bulb icon. So I'm going to place it here. Hold the shift button down as you click and drag from the corners to increase the size. Now this is totally editable. All you need to do is to right click, go to group and say ungroup. And this is the dialog box that you will get which says this is an imported picture, not a group. Do you want to convert it to a Microsoft Office drawing object? You say yes. And now you need to ungroup it one level more. So right click, go to group and say ungroup once again. And now we have individual pieces that can be worked quite nicely on. Now I'm going to increase the size of this bit a little bit more so that I can really have the design the way I want. And I'm going to place this slightly close to each other so that the bulb looks exactly the way I want. Now I have completely customized the icon to suit my specific requirements. Now that we've got the base graphic in place, we are going to make a duplicate of this. I'm going to press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. And then I'm going to break this down into three parts. For that, I'm going to go to the Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the Rectangle tool and draw a thin bar like this, which will be used to break down the graphic behind. I'm going to make one more copy of this. I'm going to hold the control button down as I click and drag the bar to its new location. And now you can see I can divide this into three pieces, one, two, and three. Now I'm going to select all these shapes by clicking and dragging my cursor across the slide. And then I'm going to go to the Format tab, go to Merge Shapes, and say Fragment. Now I'm going to delete the portions that are not really required. So I'm going to click and drag my cursor across all these pieces here and I'm going to delete. The same way I'm going to delete the pieces here as well. Now we have got a very beautiful graphic which is broken down into its individual pieces. Let us give this a different color. I'm going to select this piece here, go to shape fill and give it orange color and this one orange, this one is orange, and this one is orange. Now we have got all this in place. We can change the color of the ones in the center to something lighter, like say this slight gray color. And if required, we can select all the shapes here and then give a shape outline of black like this. Now let us carefully place all these elements right on top of our earlier graphic and we have got now the pieces in place. 
The next thing we are going to do is to draw a few rectangles that will serve as text placeholders. So I'm going to go to the Auto Shapes Gallery once more, pick up the rectangle tool and let us draw a rectangle like so. So this is the first rectangle. Let us make a copy by holding the control button down and place it right down uh, the next one and then let us do it once again. Yeah, we have got the three rectangles in place. Now let us right click and send them to back. Now let us write the text that we want to have for each of these explanations. So let us first pick up the text box tool and write the number one here and let us choose a much thicker font like say Lato Black or Arial Black and let us really increase the size of this maybe to this extent and then I'm going to place it here saying one and then right below the previous one I'm going to have number two and then number three. Now let us go to the text box tool and write something like you can replace this text and let us increase the size to say around 20 and give it white color and then let us place this here. Yeah, that is nice and let us place a copy of this here and then let us pick, place another copy here. Now let me color these bars into uh, a black color like this and now it is time to group things together. I'm going to select all these items and I'm going to press Ctrl G to group them. Same way, I'm going to press all these items and press Ctrl G to group them. The same way, I'm going to select all these items and press Ctrl G to group them. Now, all that is left for us to do is to have a simple wipe animation for each of these elements. So let us select each of them and say animations, wipe animation, and then say from left and then on click. Now let us go to the slideshow mode. First all you see is a bulb which is a metaphor for idea. Then I say let me show you the three components of this idea. The first component is this, second is this and third is this. <laughs> Beautiful isn't it? It is that easy for you to insert an icon that is readily available in Office 365 subscription and you can work with these icons just as you would work with any of the auto shapes. Which means now you have more options to convert your boring text-based slides into more compelling visual slides. Now talking about that, one of the tools that can really make it even easier is comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This is a bundle that helps any business presenter to convert boring text-based slides into visual slides in a matter of minutes with very less effort. Let me show you some creative ways to express the idea of idea in PowerPoint. Now we are going to use a bulb as a metaphor for idea and let us see what are the different ways in which we can talk about the concept of idea and all these templates I am about to show you are all taken from comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. The first example is this one where we talk about idea to execution. First on a click we bring in our first idea, then we bring in our second idea and then we bring in our third idea and here we talk about the various ideas and we talk about the idea generation phase. And then we go to the execution phase. By clicking I am going to use this beautiful animation to add some gears to this bulbs and now we talk about execution. Now let me show you another interesting way in which you can use purposeful custom animation to talk about idea converting into dollars. On a click I bring in this first bulb which represents an idea and then we talk about the process that will allow us to convert our ideas into dollars and then on a click the idea goes in and then dollars come out. So this is a very simple visual representation of the concept of converting your ideas into money. Another example is this one where we talk about idea to execution in three stages. First we show what is the problem stage. Here you can talk about the problem. Then we talk about the ideation stage. You can see that the question has now converted into a bulb.
then the third stage which is about refining it and drawing out an execution plan and we now talk about the execution stage here so that is a very beautiful visual representation of idea to execution in three stages let us go to another example here we talk about teamwork first we talk about person a and some details here and then person b and then person c and then on a click we show how the ideas from three different people come together and all those ideas work together to create this beautiful concept another example is small ideas leading to big idea on a click we bring in a whole bunch of small ideas and this is a conceptual slide and then we talk about the one big idea that is created using all those small ideas and then we give our explanation about the big idea as you can see there are so many creative ways in which you can express the concept of ideas and all these ideas are readily available for you as templates in comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle no matter what kind of ideas you have in your mind you will find a template that allows you to convert that idea into a clear and compelling visual expression in our comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle i will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video please click on the link and see how this product can change the way you create your business presentations and finally if you want to receive exclusive powerpoint tips and tricks that i share only with my email subscribers please join our success by powerpoint newsletter you will be the first to hear about any new product that we introduce you will be the first to get any free giveaway and you will also get free email courses which we keep creating from time to time and more importantly we provide product offers and discounts only to our email subscribers so please click on the link here join our success by powerpoint newsletter and i will see you inside